This is Clem Blake from Mallee Weather Watch and welcome back to part two of our video production process on how we uh, put our afternoon uh, weather forecast together. Now we've uh, done the uh, overnight minimums for the uh, Sunday forecast and forecast outlook but with the maximum temperatures we have to do something a little bit different. So uh, Wednesday for Oyen is going to be 15. We'll just uh, get the uh, correct map up there. So we put in uh, 15. And uh, why does my phone go off all the time when uh, I'm doing doing this? So uh, 15 degrees. And what we also do is go to our icon section. So it's going to be partly cloudy that day in Oyen. So we position it to uh, right next to the uh, forecast temperature square. Next we will go to uh, Robin Vale and uh, they will have uh, also a partly cloudy day and uh, 16 degrees so we uh, put in 16 for Robin Vale and partly cloudy So uh, normally I can uh, edit uh, eight weather maps in uh, just over an hour and uh, Swan Hill go down to uh, Wednesday and they're going to have a um, couple of showers so we have to put a uh, totally new icon in there. Um, if it's uh, cloudy or sunny around the whole region uh, what we normally do is we already have a pre-made template for that but uh, most of the time we do have to uh, create um, brand new templates uh, from the start so uh, that can take uh, a bit of time with that as well but um, it is not too bad and uh, no I don't want showers to go to Murrayville I'll have to uh, double check that and see what um, they're gonna have uh, lucky that I actually uh, scanned uh, across the map just to check I hadn't forgotten anything and uh, Murrayville for Wednesday uh, good, partly cloudy so I only have to put a partly cloudy icon in there so that's uh, all our forecast maps complete for the next four days so I'll just make sure I save it no um, check yes that's all good so we're uh, finally getting there so that's our photo editing done uh, we're going to go back to our uh, video editing software um, and uh, I'll just close this Now here we are back in our video timeline. Now uh, as we explained before we have a uh, folder for each day of the week and we have our temperature and uh, all our chart maps in there. 
um, now we edit our photos from those maps or uh, those maps that are in the folder and we put those into the video timeline and at first they will look blank uh, because we pre-do the video um, but uh, if we go over to uh, a forecast map uh, look at that it's already been automatically updated in the video timeline um, which is really good it saves a heck of a lot of time so what we do now is uh, we have to put your weather information in so we go back to the uh, Bureau website and load up the district forecast and uh, here we are and uh, the forecast has been issued at 4.15 so we just uh, copy this for Sunday do that and uh, you want to highlight uh, all the text because uh, uh, just want to reduce it a bit in size and uh, change the font and make sure it's uh, it'll fit all on the page so I just drag it up a bit makes it look a bit better so that's for Sunday now heading over to Monday so we uh, highlight that and I nearly opened the uh, wrong program there Tuesday so uh, highlight that one as well And lucky last Wednesday. start here reduce the font and change the font 
and uh, make sure it will uh, fit on the page. And there you have it. So now we have all our elements um, in force for the uh, forecast. Everything's uh, all ready to go. Uh, but to turn it into a video, what we have to do is um, render the file. So um, when we render, we're basically turning this video timeline into a uh, M MP4 uh, video file. So I'm just going back uh, checking um, that I've put the right date in and day uh, which I have so far which is good. Um, so what we're going to do is uh, we'll render this video. I won't, um, I won't actually record the whole thing because it does take a couple of minutes. Uh, but uh, we will be back with a um, final piece on um, how we upload the video to uh, Facebook. Uh, we can also um, upload to Instagram and we also um, post on our YouTube TV channel. So to render the video, we go down to Render As. and we have a whole lot of different file formats um, on the right or on the left and uh, on the right here it um, basically uh, has a list of uh, what quality do you want the video to render at do you want it high definition or um, or standard definition so and it even has uh, ultra high definition in there as well uh, but um, we're just going to render it for the internet at HD uh, 180p. So we go here, uh, browse. Now what we want to do is uh, go to Sunday forecast. And uh, down here it has the uh, file format, so MP4. Sunday forecast on top, so we'll save that. And what we're going to do is render. So now um, the video is uh, rendering and uh, converting it to our file format we need to uh, upload onto our social media platforms. Now this does take uh, a couple of minutes so I'll stop recording and when we're ready to upload I'll be back.